Hey everybody, this is Jen Buma. I was just out and about. Um, I'm down here in Oklahoma and I got done doing all my shopping, getting stuff ready so that I can do products and spirit came in and was like, you need to channel. So we are going to step into a channel today and um, Wind Eagle wants to come through and talk about separation. So I am going to step back and let him start channeling. And I hope that this resonates with some of you. I uh, will see you in a little bit. Tete nawa shaneo ke keo i shamana kateo naya washakti na koda te na koda te washana keo ki shamana. I am Wind Eagle of the Sky Ancestors. This dear one, our dear sister spirit on earth, has been out trying to connect with people in this area that she sees as fit for her community. Those that feel as if she will be welcomed into their community we see that there is a separation that has occurred within the spiritual community. We see that people are creating boundaries. They are limiting who they are connecting with based on the beliefs that are presented. She has been seeking stores in this area to connect with people, find places that she may channel and communicate with others who are on the same vibrational frequency. There is not fault in seeking out others who are on the same vibrational frequency. Where we have concern is the assumption that others will not be able to communicate and connect over other belief systems. You see, this dear one has seen many, as many have called it, witchy shops here in Oklahoma. This is different from the metaphysical shops that she is used to in the North, in Minnesota. She has had experiences in shops of other spiritual beliefs in the past where she feels she has not been accepted or not able to connect over these beliefs. <laughs> Dear ones, we see this within many spiritual communities. You feel as if you must connect with others who are of the same belief. Belief is not all. We are all one. And by connecting with those who only fall within your own belief system, you are creating more separation within the whole. This dear one was looking for communication and connection with those that she felt would understand her. This is not what your journey is about. Your journey is about connecting, connecting all aspects of the whole, coming together as one, regardless of your beliefs, regardless of your religion, regardless of your spirituality, regardless of your color, regardless of where you live. Dear ones, we see this happening within many spiritual communities at this time. Many communities within the political system have also created the same separation. Human beings are of the nature of finding like groups, finding like people. <laughs> we laugh because this is, again, not what your journey is about. 
Yes, it is great to connect with those who understand you, but there is great learning to be had when you connect with those who are outside of your thinking. This dear one has been called to Oklahoma so that she may be a beacon of light, so that she may bring a greater knowledge to this community. By stepping into community that holds the same thought patterns, holds the same vibrational frequency, she is no longer expanding the consciousness of those around her. We ask you, dear ones, how many of you are seeking only community with people who already believe as you do? who already feel as you do, who already look as you do. Step outside of these beliefs. Step outside of this comfort level that you have created so that you may help to expand the consciousness of those around you so that you may expand your own consciousness and learn from those that are around you. Do you see, dear ones? You are being asked for something greater. You are being asked to live a life of unconditional love, to live in your divinity, to live as a divine being that you are. Teshiwana kakekeo. Hmm. Taiwana kakeshiwana. Te liwana. Washakta tail. We will also speak of something that caught this dear one's attention while she was in one of these stores. There was a sign regarding spiritual herbs and the use by people who are non indigenous who are non, hmm, shall we say, of beliefs that are differing from those that were in this shop. Hmm. These signs, these beliefs about only certain people using sacred herbs have created a division. Our mother earth has given these herbs to the people who live on this land. Our mother earth has given of herself as she birthed you from herself. She has given all life. She gives of herself each day and to be honored through herbs, for people to use these things in their sacred practices brings us together. Yes, there is an issue with people using these herbs in a manner that is not sacred. Yes, there is an issue with people over-foresting certain herbs. This is the case with many things, not specific herbs, not specific plants. This is an issue of people not understanding the sacred nature of the gifts that Mother Earth has given you. This is not an issue of the belief system. This is not an issue of indigenous people versus people who have come from other lands. This is division. This is pulling you out of the sacred whole. This is pulling you into multiple different aspects again. We ask you to look at how you are using the herbs and the plants that you gather for your sacred use. Are you communicating with these plants? Are you allowing yourself to feel the energies of the herbs that you are using? Are you giving gratitude 
for the sacrifice of Mother Earth. Are you doing so with a loving heart? Yes, dear one, pay attention to where you are gathering these from, how you are harvesting these plants. Do so with a loving heart. But each belief system is different. How you use these sacred herbs is different. It is not a, hmm, how shall we say? It is not a issue of who you are, what tribe you came from, what land you came from, what race you are. The beings who live on this planet are here to use the gifts that had been given to them. <laughs> this dear one is noticing that I am fired up today. Hmm. This is true. I wish to see everyone working together. I wish to see everyone come together as the whole. And I see people creating separation. Separation where there is the opportunity for gathering and community. Washakana te shashiwa na lakane washanokia. My heart is heavy seeing the separation. This dear one, this being in front of you, our sacred being who allows us to channel through her, feels it in her heart. As she walks into shops, she feels the separation. Her nature is connecting. We wish to see all beings connected again. These are my words on this day. We will speak to you again soon. As the moon fills the sky, may you be blessed and connected to the whole. Washakana washe te na eho robana wea kakeo ishiwi na eho. I'm going to go back and listen to the words because I can feel it real heavy in my heart today. And I'm not sure exactly what he said, but I hope that it was something that resonated with the rest of you. I love you all.